In this recording, we look at an example of using implicit differentiation for examples involving a function of a function. Recall that implicit differentiation is useful when, let's suppose you're finding dy dx, it is an expression you're looking at where it is difficult or impossible to make y the subject, and therefore easier to differentiate term by term with respect to x. And we know that when we're dealing with a function of a function, suppose z equals f of g of x, where z is a function of y, and in turn y is the function of x g of x, then by the chain rule, dz dx becomes dz dy times dy dx. It also follows that the derivative with respect to x of a function of y is found by differentiating the function with respect to y, then multiplying by dy dx. These ideas will help us as we look at the following example. Given sine of x cubed plus y squared equals 5x, find dy dx. So we would now need to start off by working out the derivative with respect to x of sine x cubed plus y squared, and that would be equal to the derivative with respect to x of 5x. I initially want to focus on this expression on the left-hand side because that's the one that looks more complicated. And in fact, that's the one where we have a function of a function as we have sine of x cubed plus y squared. So for convenience, let's call sine of x cubed plus y squared z. In turn, let u equal the x cubed plus y squared. That means that we are then thinking of z equals sine u for convenience. I find it can often help to write down how that's been put together. So we've rewritten z in terms of u as sine of u, and in turn u has been rewritten in terms of x and y here as x cubed plus y squared. So if we're wanting to find the derivative of this expression with respect to x, that means we're wanting to find dz dx. Therefore, because we have rewritten z as a function of u, it would be dz du, and u is a function of x, so therefore that will be multiplied by du dx. That is, in this case, dz dx, which is a derivative with respect to x of sine of x cubed plus y squared, that will become equal to dz du. What happens when we differentiate sine u? with respect to u, we just get cos of u times du dx. Now u is x cubed plus y squared. So what happens when we differentiate that with respect to x? Well, x cubed, the derivative of that will be 3x squared. And then by linearity, since that's x cubed plus y squared, it'll be 3x squared plus the derivative of y squared with respect to x. In turn, differentiating y squared with respect to x, we must work out the derivative of it with respect to y, which is 2y, and that is then multiplied by dy dx. So this will be the derivative with respect to x of sine x cubed plus y squared. And we can rewrite that now by substituting back u here. u was equal to x cubed plus y squared, Therefore, it is cos of x cubed plus y squared multiplied by 3x squared plus 2y dy dx. So where are we up to? Well, we've found the derivative with respect to x of the left-hand side of the original expression we started with. But to actually find dy dx for the whole expression we started with, we needed to differentiate both sides of the equation. That is, the derivative with respect to x of sine of x cubed plus y squared, which we've just found, is cos of x cubed plus y squared times 3x squared plus 2y dy dx. 
that must be equal to the derivative with respect to x of the right hand side that is the derivative with respect to x of 5x and that's just 5 so this is now the expression we have once we've differentiated both sides of the original equation and it's now just a matter of, dif of rearranging this to make dy dx the subject to do that I would start by expanding these brackets on the left that's just going to give us 3x squared times cos of x cubed plus y squared plus 2y dy dx times cos of x cubed plus y squared equal to 5. Now we get all terms with dy dx on the left hand side that's just 2y times cos x cubed plus y squared times dy dx just rewriting that a bit to make it simpler equal to and on the right hand side we have all the other terms so in this case that will become 5 minus 3x squared times cos of x cubed plus y squared in this particular case because dy dx is just multiplied by this we now simply divide both sides by 2y times cos of x cubed plus y squared that is in this case we obtain dy dx equals 5 minus 3x squared cos of x cubed plus y squared divided by 2y times cos of x cubed plus y squared in some cases it might involve a bit more manipulation if there were several terms involving dy dx you'd take it out as a common factor on the left before doing a division but this gives a general example of how to do implicit differentiation when there is a function of a function involved which in this case was the sine of x cubed plus y squared